So I got to ask you, um, you, you kind of just briefly talked about this. I want to just talk about your, uh, uh, you said something I've never heard of before. It, you talked about your book, five gen leadership mm -hmm. and said leading five generations of schools in the 2020s. And you actually named a lot of the generations that I heard of, but there's one I've never, this new, I've never heard of this before. And so can you just talk a little bit about the book and yeah. the five generations and what, what that's about? Yeah, that would be the new one's probably Gen Alpha, the, the, yeah. the kids in fourth and fifth grade and on down. Yeah. So I was leading this uh, training in South Texas and I do this generational exercise because I want I break people, the group up by generation because I want them to understand where they are in relation to their Gen Z and Gen Alpha students. Right. And so I, we have Gen Z teachers now. A lot of people don't understand that Gen Zers, the ones up to 25 or 26, are now in our teaching staff. They're not all just millennials. These right. are Gen Z. And so I have these three Gen Z teachers. And I said, hey, if you could change professional development, what would you change? About 50 people in the room, they're all looking at these three babes in the woods teachers, right? Right, right? And this one teacher bravely says, sometimes I wish that the trainers would just leave us alone and let us go figure it out. Right. And that struck me. It was an epiphany for me because I've worked, I've been in several thousand classrooms the last five years. And I kept picking up on something in my training about the younger teachers. This is the figure it out generation. Mm -hmm. And they've been figuring it out their whole lives from their apps to their surfing to the games they play. They don't read directions. They're right. not used to people telling them how to do things. They want to go figure it out on the far extreme or the baby boomers like me. Please tell me step by step. How do you want me to do this? What is it supposed to look like when I get through? Huh. And in between, you've got the Gen Xers and you've got the millennials who are sort of in between. The millennials are more like the Gen Z. The Xers are more like the boomers. And that's hmm. because the Xers and the boomers, the older people, grew up without the Internet. I call that the Internet Valley. And the millennials and the Gen Zers grew up surfing and seeing the whole world on their phones and computers and tablets. Mm -hmm. And they're bringing different views, different ways of doing things into the schools today, into the workforce today. 